So here on the left hand I have the uh, second SDS 20, 2104 and on the right side I have the Rigol DS 402024. Uh, they are both set at uh, 500 milliseconds per division, uh, milliseconds yeah, per division and 2 volts. And over here it says uh, 2 volts and uh, the time is 500 milliseconds per division. I set the trigger to the uh, far most left here on the cyclant and also on the rival. They are both set at the auto triggering here and on the rival it's, it's there. You can see on the rival it has a sweep that, that continuously flows to the right and on the cyclant it updates only when the acquiring, sorry, the acquiring uh, time uh, has run out. If I try to measure something here, I have uh, a PVM signal. Uh, wait a minute. There are my probes on the same signal. And now watch on the Rigel, I continuously see the live signal being updated on the screen. And on the Sigland oscilloscope, I only see an update when the uh, uh, entire time on the screen has elapsed. And that's uh, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half times five hundred milliseconds. So almost uh, five seconds. Um, I have an option on the uh, second oscilloscope to uh, to use the roll button. Here, and if I enable this signal uh, type, I get an continuously update. What I'm searching for is that if the signal has some kind of uh, spurious, uh, some notch, or, or the signal just disappears for a few seconds, I would like to see this uh, live on the update. I can only see that if I if I have the row segment uh, on the horizontal uh, enabled. So let me just demonstrate. If I have the roll off, nothing is being updated for five seconds, and now I will try to remove my signal like that. No signal source, and immediately I see the Rigel being updated, and the cyclant needs to update its entire buffer before I see the signal vanishes. I can't find any other options than the row for this type of signals. Can anyone please help me?